Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem palindrome index. Given a string of lowercase letters in the range a to z, determine a character that can be removed to make a string a palindrome. There may be more than one solution, but any will do. For example, if your string is bc bc, you can either remove b at index 0 or c at index 3. If the word is already a palindrome or there is no solution, return minus 1. Otherwise, return the index of the character to remove. So, if there is no solution means we have to return minus 1. Otherwise, we have to return the index. So, it says index 0. So, it is a 0 based index. Okay, let's see the constraints. Here, the queries can go up to 20. That's a small amount. And the string length can go up to 10 to the power of 5. So, it is a large number of letters. So, we need to avoid the brute force option. Let's see the input. Here we have three queries. And the first query we can remove b, that is index 3. In the second query we can remove b, that is index 0. And the third one, it is already a palindrome, so we don't need to do anything. We will return minus 1. So this is our sample example. Okay, let's solve the problem now. First, we will check whether the string is palindrome or not. For that, check the string is palindrome. So if yes equals yes colon colon minus 1, that is the reverse of the string. If both are equal, we need to return minus 1. So that is our one case. For the next case, we need to find the length of the string n equals length of yes. Now we can go for the main logic. So to check whether the string is palindrome or not, we can traverse up to half of the string. So we can compare the first letter and the last character. Like that we can iterate through the characters and check whether the string is palindrome or not. So for that for i in range of n divided by 2 so it iterates up to half of the characters now we have to check whether the first character and the last character is different so check the characters are different that is if s of i not equals s of n minus 1 minus i so this is the character from the start we are checking and this is the character from the last we are checking so if both are different means we have to check another condition so let's see with the test case let's consider an example like a a b c b c a a so we have a string with the length of 8 so in the loop it will compare the first character and the last character and the i will be incremented it will compare the second character and the second from last so all the characters are same up to the two characters when it reaches the third one b is not equal to c so we have to check for another condition that will be so from i if s of i colon n minus 1 minus i equals so this will get the characters from i to n minus 1 i that is leaving one letter behind so that will be bcb s of i colon n minus 1 minus i the same thing but we have to reverse it so for reverse we use the separate subscript so in this condition we are excluding the last character and apart from that we are checking whether the string is a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome means we have to remove the character n minus 1 minus i so we will return n minus 1 minus i that means we have to remove any one of the character to change the string as a palindrome that's why we are excluding one character and checking this is a palindrome Similarly, we have to check for another one that is s of i plus 1 colon 
n minus i equals s of i plus 1 colon n minus i and again we have to reverse it so now we are excluding the first character you can have another example like this a a c b c b a a so here we are excluding the first character and checking whether this string is a palindrome or not so if it satisfies the condition we need to remove the index that is present at the ith index so we will return i so that's our whole logic of the program so we have to ignore one character from the first or the last and check whether the string is a palindrome or not so if it's a palindrome means we have to return the index of the excluded character that is this from the last means this character from the first means this character so that's the whole logic of our program if no condition is satisfied means we have to return minus one that means we have no other solution okay let's run it it passed the sample test case let's submit it that's it guys we solved the problem if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos see you guys in the next video